Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to FPL Mate, your best mode for fantasy Premier League content for the 2023-24 season. My name is Dan, and it's the Game Week 29 deadline day. A very important Game Week, because, well, I mean, <laughs> look at these fixtures. <laughs> there isn't very many of them. Four. Four fixtures. Eight teams playing. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a free hit week, I think. Um, so, guys, we're going to go through for the next... A uh, couple of hours, we're going to see if there is any final leaks. I've got to do my free hit team. I've not even pressed the free hit button yet, by the way, which is just crazy. So we're going to do that live today. Um, I didn't think there's any point in rushing into clicking the free hit button. You never know when, if something crazy was going to happen that meant I actually ended up not free hitting. But, you know, we've got to Saturday now and I think it's time to finally click that button. Obviously, I've played around with a lot of kind of players that I might, li might like to go with. So, yeah, I'm... Uh, I think I'm I'm still not 100% locked in on my free hit or who's going to be in it. I think we're maybe like, I don't know, probably like 9 out of 11 locked in at this point. After that, maybe a few final changes that I might make. I haven't quite decided yet, but... It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an interesting week for sure. Uh, it really, really is. So, guys, let's uh, let's get cracking. So, first of all, uh, is there anyone in the chat who is a member of the channel that we can say good morning to? I've got to have a few members in the chat. Make yourself known if you are here. Uh, we've got a super chat already from. Oh, I can't even see that. Who's that from? Doesn't say the name. From Jack. There we go. It's from Jack. Uh, hey Dan, thoughts on Kulisevsky, please. Um, he's okay. He's okay. Wouldn't be one of my favourite picks. Um, you can certainly make an argument for for picking him, but he's not typically a player who gets a lot of FPL returns. He doesn't typically get those big high scoring games as well. But he is good for minutes at the very least. So yeah, if you if you like the look of just picking that, um, you know that that safe player in a team that does score goals. The Spurs attack is kind of spread for attacking returns outside of Son. So we could see, um, you know, I don't know. I could I could easily see Kulosevsky blanking this game week is what I'm saying. And even if he does get something, one goal, maybe one assist more likely. Yeah, don't think he's like one of the best picks uh, for this game week, but he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, pretty much I would say that. Uh, we have got a few members in the chat. We've got uh, Overtino, Scott, Edward, Linus, and Saps. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hope, you, hope you're doing well. Um, let me show you my team. Let me show you my team, what we're dealing with right now. Because I did say someone, uh, I did see someone in the chat said, oh, a free hit this game week is so overrated. Okay, well, what, what even for me? Is, is, is the free hit really overrated for me? Because look at my team. I have two players. One of them is a possibly injured Ollie Watkins. And the other one is Charlie Taylor. Can you honestly look at my team and say, oh, I don't know if this is the right week to free hit. I don't know if this is going to be the, a good week to free hit. When you look at my team, I think it very much is the week to free hit. So I'm absolutely fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to get going with it. So let's... Um, it shows the chip option at the end, doesn't it? Let's uh, get rid of everyone. <laughs> and we're going to start from scratch for our free hit team today. And then we might make some final changes as we approach the deadline. Ollie Watkins is going to stay in. Let's go. Let's go uh, player by player. Edward says, why aren't you bench boosting? I know, I know. My team right now with, with just Ollie Watkins and, and Taylor. I'm in the bench as well, man. Bench boost week for me. Bench boost week. <laughs> no, but like, uh, you know, a lot of people, particularly those who aren't free hitting this week, I've, I've seen a lot of, I don't know, people who are very, very critical about a free hit this week. But they're not really thinking that, you know, not everyone has the same team as them. If you've got, already got in your team, you know, Watkins, Tony, Son, Doughty, Morris, if you've got all, all, like, a lot of players like that already in your team, maybe you've got Madison and Bowen in your team as well, of course the free hit is r overrated for you, <laughs> but not all of us are in that situation. Everyone's got different teams, everyone's got slightly different strategies, and for some people, the free hit is absolutely perfect for this game week. It's perfect, and it's certainly perfect for me. So, let's go through. So, I already know who my goalkeeper is going to be, and it's going to be our good friend, Mark Flecken. He's going straight in net, straight away. And I think for my backup goalkeeper, I'm going to go with Kaminsky, because uh, he's actually got, I was looking at the... Um, points predicted, uh, points predictions. I'm not going to triple up on Luton 
in my playing in my starting players anyway, so that's not a problem. But I was looking at the predicted points on the uh, fantasy football hub algorithm, and they they're putting Kaminsky up at, at first actually, which I thought was quite interesting. And very very little to kind of split. You know, Kaminsky four predicted points, Trafford three point nine, Martinez three point nine, Flecken three point eight, Leno three point eight. So there's not really too much to split these goalkeepers, but still. Um. You know, may as well go with that uh, because I'm not honestly. I mean, maybe I do. I want to go for Trafford as a backup goalkeeper. Probably not because I want to pick Tony, so we should probably put him in as well. Uh, no, we'll go. We'll go uh, to defence next, and we'll pick the players who I'm sure I'm going to put in, and then we'll go from there. So Doughty and Pedro Porro, I think I'm looking at to start myself off. Outside of that, nothing's locked. Uh, in midfield, we are 100% going for Son. Uh, we're going to go for Bowen as well. And I think, I think I'm think i going to go for Bailey. Just to make sure I do have that attacker. Even if Watkins is injured, like having that attacker for Bailey but might not be the only one. So that's where I'm locked in in terms of midfield. Then to the forward position, I'm going to go for Tony. And this is the final player I think is locked in on my team. That I'm very, very sure I'm going to do. If I can find him. If I can find him. Where are you? Here he is. John Duran. Not had many minutes this season. Not had too many minutes. Uh, not had too many points. Two goals and an assist all season. Which, in fairness, is not too bad for 174 minutes played. That's basically, so he's basically played two games, two two games worth of minutes so far this season. And he's got two goals and an assist. That's not a bad ratio, is it, guys? Not a bad ratio at all. But I like Duran as a pick because if Watkins is out, it'll be Duran who starts. And that would be a enormous differential. There's going to be a huge differential. If Watkins is out and Duran starts, that's that's amazing, right? Amazing. We get that Aston Villa attacker ready to go. That Aston Villa central striker against this West Ham team who are so weak defensively. Let's try it out. Let's see how that goes. It means I can't pick another Aston Villa player. I think I'm okay with that. I'm not really too interested in Douglas Luiz this game week. He's probably one of the popular midfielders who I'm pretty certain I'm not going to pick. Uh, and in terms of the defenders, you know, you could go for a, a, a Dina or an Alex Moreno, although who, honestly, who knows which of the two is going to start. Concert seems a bit dull. I expect West Ham to score anyway, so not really too keen on those uh, Aston Villa defenders this week. Um, so, yeah, people in the chat already not really liking the look of the Duran pick. Uh, do you think Duran will get you points? I don't see why not. Whenever he's played for Aston Villa, he's been good. So let's uh, let's just show you. Let's go on transfer mark so we can get some of the um, numbers from kind of all competitions because he has been playing in he has played a bit in Europe as well this season uh, and he's got a couple of returns there as well. So yeah, Conference League um, he has two goals, uh, one goal in the qualifier as well, so three goals I guess. So he scored. Five goals in very limited minutes this season. Five goals and one assist in pretty limited minutes. So he is capable. And it's a really, really nice fixture. He's been he's been a reliable backup. He's not Ollie Watkins, granted. But I really, really do like the idea of going for uh, you know, a bit of a differential Aston Villa attacker here. People asked about Wood. I don't think Wood is nailed on. A lot of I've actually seen some Nottingham Forest fans. Some predicting that our knee is going to start this game. Some predicting Wood is going to start this game. It is a bit of a mixed bag. Um, so I think you are, you could, yes, going for a Wood, going for our knee could work out. But you are playing a dangerous game, and and you know what? Either the Wood owners or the our knee owners, one set of owners is going to be disappointed. The last prediction from a Forest fan I saw predicted our knee was going to start and Wood was going to be benched. Just putting that one out there. So I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's, you know, guaranteed uh, to be, uh, you know, a, a great, a great pick there. Uh, you're, you're playing with fire. You really are. All right, let's continue on. 
But of course, yeah, there's other, there are other options. Like, Wissa looks like an option. Though, to be fair, I think now that we know Mbermo is potentially going to be back in the squad, is that going to, is he going to get some minutes here? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Trini says, I've heard our knee is injured. I don't know where you've got that information from because I certainly have not heard that at all. I like to stay fairly on the ball. Fafana, yeah, looks like a decent pick. If you are, if you want to back against the, if you want to back against the uh, Brentford defence, then then Fafana is possibly a player to go for. But I'm going to back for the Brentford defence. In fact, I'm probably going to double up on the Brentford defence, liking the look of Region on those set pieces. I think it's going to be pretty handy. So I think he goes into my team as well. And then after that, for my defenders, it's like just picking two bench defenders really, and it's kind of tough to. Really identify who to go for. Not really sure. I'm, I'm tripled up on Aston Villa at, as things stand. I mean, maybe you go for like Toffolo. Maybe we go for... I think Toffolo should be pretty nailed on in this Nottingham Forest team this week. Now he's back. And who else? I don't know. Running out of ideas at this point. Do we just go for two uh, Forest defenders on the bench? No, it's not ideal, but we are we are limited. We are limited. I don't really know where else to go. Williams, Nico Williams, maybe. Nailed on wing back. Let's let's just throw him in for now. Let's throw him in for now. Let's uh, let's complete the team, and then uh, and then we'll think about making some changes. Because we can't we can't. We can't lock anything in until deadline, I don't think. Uh, so at the moment, I'm like, I want an, uh, I want one more Aston Villa, uh, not Aston Villa, I want one more West Ham attacker. And I'm really split between Kudus and Paqueta. I really, really can't decide which one to go for. I also like Alanga. And I'm, <laughs> I don't know whether I'm going to have room for Madison in my team, if I'm totally honest with you guys. I know that sounds crazy because everyone is going for Madison, aren't they? Like, you'll struggle to find a free hitter or non-free hitter who is not going for Madison. But I was just looking through the numbers and Madison's just, it's like, he's, he's okay, don't get me wrong. But let's, like, just show you what I mean here. You guys reckon Kudus? Yeah, I had a feeling you might. <laughs> Did you guys see a solo goal, by the way, uh, in the Europa League on Thursday? Unbelievable stuff. So let's go past, I don't know, five game weeks, six, six game weeks. Is that six game weeks? I think so. Um, and then go per appearance for midfielders, hide low mins players, go sort by expected points over this period. And we have Alanga like really high up here. And that really tempts me. And I think for that reason, Alanga is going to go because Luton do have that vulnerability on the on the on well their left side, be Alanga Alanga on the right hand side there. Um, that seems to be exploited every game. We just saw Semenyo two goals from that right hand side of the uh, of the Bournemouth attack. Uh, Alanga is going to be in similar situation, similar position. And I think Alanga comes straight back into the team. After seeing Nuno's comments, press conference comments, I think Alanga is coming straight back into the team. So, I think he goes in there uh, in my team as a bit of a differential. Will he be super differential? I don't know. How many people do you think will bring in Elanga this week? 66,000. That's not that much. 4.7% owned player. Pretty differential. And then after that... Gibbs White is better? No, it's not. <laughs> Gibbs White might be a better long-term option potentially like Gibbs White's a set piece man really but he's not playing in the super attacking positions like Alanga's in those in the you know those really nice attacking positions Gibbs White is a decent pick but Alanga's data is nuts so so um let's go back to where we were looking at uh, some midfielders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tick all of the players who actually have a fixture this week so we can kind of get an idea of who has the best data during this period. Um, I'm not seeing... Okay, maybe I need to unhide the low minutes players. Uh, let's go per start as well. 
so it takes away the bench uh, people who are coming off the bench. Uh, okay, that brings you back into play. Uh, Kosevsky, Ramsey is injured. Is Ramsey injured at the moment? I think he's, he he wasn't in the squad in the week, was he? He's still injured. Um, uh, what else do we need? We need. We've got to be missing some players here, right? Let's go through all of these players. See who has a fixture. Iwobi has a fixture. We'll we'll put in. Uh, Wilson, technically. Ugh, no, rotation risk, maybe. We've got... Willian. Again, not super nailed on at the moment. McGinn is suspended. Douglas Louise. Hey, we've put Douglas Louise in. Hudson O'Doy. Chong Barkley. Gibbs White. Kudus. Right, that should be... Is that pretty much all of the midfielders that we're considering this game week or are we missing like some picks Bowen <laughs> I haven't even mentioned Bowen yet uh, I guess do you put Brennan Johnson in there probably rotation risk I'm not going to include him uh, we'll leave it there we'll leave it there right so let's show only selected players and I think this is the midfielders that we're choosing from and I know everyone's been like Madison Madison you gotta have Madison Madison yeah, essential Madison 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 he's been the hype pick this game week no doubt about it but his data is kind of in the middle here it's not bad don't get me wrong like I'm not saying he's a bad pick he's definitely not a bad pick but I don't know by the way Bowen incidentally is lowest on this table <laughs> which is interesting. I think it's uh it's a little bit tough with with West Ham though because because of Bowen having to play games with no Paqueta with no Kudus in there, he has struggled a little bit more. Um because Paqueta just changes this West Ham team. He really really does. He, he you know, West Ham with Paqueta versus West Ham without Paqueta is just entirely different. It really is. So if we just go for the last 3 games for example, 3 game weeks where Paqueta's been back in the team, you are going to see the likes of um, Kudus and Bowen shoot up the table a little bit. Uh, by the way, also Son and Madison shooting up the table here. But there's a two a two game week sample size there. Ah, it's tough, isn't it? If we just increase the sample size just a little tiny bit. Paqueta has the best numbers and is on penalties. But Kudus in the midweek. What a vibey pick. Speedy, pacey player as well. Might be nice on a counter-attack against a high line, Aston Villa. If I'm not going for Madison, I think I need to go for Kudus. But at the same time, like, do I just need to, do I just need to go with, like, the obvious? Go for the obvious Madison. I don't know. I'm having doubts about Madison now. Um, we've got some uh, super chats, so let's have a look at those. Um, so, Jack says, going for triple Spurs midfield, your thoughts uh, and which three would you suggest uh, rather, or rather go for Son, Madison and Richarlison? Um, I mean, do you have to go for triple Spurs defence? I don't think I would go, uh, uh, midfield, sorry. I don't think I would go for triple Spurs midfield. I don't think there's enough there, necessarily. I think there's, like, Spurs will score, but this is not a super easy game. This 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 Spurs versus Fulham game, to me, doesn't scream 4-0 or something like that. Well, like, I can't see Spurs scoring four goals. Of course, Spurs being Spurs, they can do that in any game. But it, typically, Fulham away is not a super easy fixture. And with the Spurs midfielders, the outside of Son, that, like I was saying earlier... The attacking returns are so split between Spurs attackers. You don't know if it's gonna who, like who it's gonna be. You don't know if it's gonna be. You know Son's gonna get something, but outside of that, is it gonna be Werner? Is it gonna be Johnson? Is it gonna be Kulusevski? Is it gonna be Madison? Is it gonna be one of the fullbacks, a doggy or Pedro Porro charging up the field? Are you gonna get someone in midfield like a, a Saar getting involved or something like that? You don't know. It, it really is chaotic for those attacking returns outside of Son. So. What are you hoping for? What is the best case scenario here? Um, would I go for triple Spurs midfield? No, because Son and Madison are the only two Spurs midfielders that I really am interested in. Richarlison, despite you know potentially being available, I don't think he starts. I think he potentially has a bench appearance. 
that's about it. Um, Kulisevsky does not thrill me necessarily. Um, you know, he's not even got set pieces or something like that. Like a, like a Madison has set pieces, which is an advantage there, which uh, which Kulisevsky does not have. Um, he, uh, Kulisevsky does not have the explosiveness of a Werner or a Johnson. But even those players are really, really risky for minutes. So, I don't know. I, I, I would love to recommend three Spurs midfielders for you, but I only have two for you. I don't really have a third that I would be happy kind of... Uh, recommending to be fair uh, Scott says Johnson numbers are insane over the past six thoughts they are when he's been on the pitch but if we're saying that Richarlison is potentially going to get some minutes off the bench um we're saying Timo Werner is probably going to start on that left hand side rather than Johnson I mean maybe Johnson does start but if if Johnson starts he's getting 60 minutes if he doesn't start he maybe gets 30 minutes but there's always still a chance that Johnson gets an attacking return. So I don't mind Johnson, but he's like one attacking return. You're looking at one attacking return for Johnson. Similar to Kulisevsky, you're looking at one attacking return if you're fortunate. So I don't think his numbers are that insane necessarily. When he's been on the pitch, great. But he, he isn't always on the pitch. So I think that's something that needs to be considered. Johnson is an okay differential. Just like Kulisevsky, like they're interesting differentials. That's about it. Not players I would necessarily feel super confident in. Uh, Lukey Shrew says, Hi, mate. My free hit team differentials are Trafford, a doggy, Gibbs White, and Kudus. What would you change? Uh, P.S. I named you in my uni personal statement. What? Lukey, you, Lukey I'm, I'm hoping I'm saying your, right, your name right, by the way, Lukey. Uh, lucky, Lukey. Uh, I would love to hear more information about that. What do you mean you, you named me in your personal statement? What does that mean? What does that mean? I need uh, need more details on that. Uh, but in terms of what I've changed, uh, are you really backing Burnley to keep a clean sheet? Because that's what going for Trafford means. That is the only one I would change. A doggy Gibbs White and Kudus love them as differentials. I, I I really enjoy all of those differentials. Trafford not so much because I think Brentford will score. <laughs> um, I, I think Burnley have a pretty low chance of. Uh, of keeping that clean sheet. So, yeah, not really feeling it. Not really feeling that one. I love other ones I like. I really, really do. Uh, Masood says, is Burmo coming back this weekend? Yeah, could get some minutes. Could get some minutes. Again, don't know if he'll start necessarily. But I think I think we could see him coming on the bench. Uh, Linus says, I think Richarlison will start. Okay. I think Son playing on the wing isn't a captain option. I... Would agree if there were some other options. I would agree. Uh, Tony Captain is looking more and more enticing. I, I don't mind it. I like, I, you know, I fully back you guys to go differential where necessary. I really, really do. If you I've, I've identified a player you think is going to be a really nice differential, why not? Why not? Bart says, not using free hit. Already bought in Tony. Nice. Should I bring it in Bowen or Madison for a minus four? If so, which one? I think I think Bowen, but you're not on a free hit, so actually no. I think Madison <laughs> changed my mind. Yeah, if you're not on a free hit, Madison is probably the better longer term pick than Bowen. You would argue because they've got Luton in game week thirty. So yeah, let's uh yeah let's say let's say Madison. Let's say Madison if you're not on a free hit. Out of those two, I think. That makes sense. Uh, CFC Ethan says Solanke to Tony. Thoughts? Don't mind it. Don't mind it. So, uh, yes, yeah, it definitely improves your team for this game week. Uh, okay, so Lukey says putting you in my personal statement means that the unis I've applied for will see that I listed you uh, as a YouTuber that has inspired me. Oh, mate, that is so nice. I'm uh, well. I am. I'm happy to inspire you. Hopefully, I inspire you to complete your degree at university. Um, I didn't complete university, so I'm not sure I'm, I'm exactly the right inspiration when it comes to university. Uh, as I dropped out after you know, during my first year. However, forget that. Uh, great stuff. Awesome. Um, ah, that's lovely. But yeah, okay. Let's go back to these. Let's go back to these. So, based on these numbers. Elanga stands out big time. 
Uh, it won't be Son, Lucas Paqueta also stand out, albeit in a smaller sample size, because I only played three games during this period. But let's stretch this out one more. Let's go back to game week 23. Um, still only three games for Iwobi during that time. And Paqueta, of course, Paqueta's been injured, hasn't he? Um, and Son was away. Yeah, okay, okay. So Alanga, I like. Son, obviously, I like. Bailey, I like as well. I think those are the three standouts in terms of there being enough data, enough game week sample size. Alanga, Bailey and Son, following the numbers, these players pick themselves, I think. After that, the final two places, I think I give one to Bowen. Even though his data has been poor, I think with now playing alongside uh, Kudus and uh, Paqueta, potentially even Antonio, I think it improves him to a degree that I think you know things are going to change for him. And I actually think that Madison is the least obvious player to go for in midfield. There you go. I said it. Controversial. Uh, Ahmad says, minus four and play solid nine player, including Watkins or free hit. I think, yeah, solid, solid nine players. I think he's decent. I think you're, I think you're absolutely fine there. Looks good. Uh, Masu says, uh, Roslev over Region. Hmm. I see, I see the appeal. I see the appeal. I think Roslev actually has a, a decent positional matchup there as well. Um, however, Region set pieces. It's what tips it for me. Region, when he plays, he's only very attacking. Very, very good. It really is. So I'd like, I'd like to see it. Matt says, L take, bro. All right. Convince me. Convince me to put Madison in my team. I've got one free slot in my midfield. I want to, I can go for Madison, I could go for Kudus, I could go for Paqueta. Convince me. I'm an open book. I'm happy to, I'm, I'm more than happy to be, to have my mind changed. If you can convince me to put Madison in, I'll do it. But what I won't, won't do, my, my season is pretty much a wash anyway. I'm not going to get like an insane finish this season. So I may as well have some fun with it and kind of back myself a little bit more. I have the suspicion that the reason people are picking Madison is because everyone's picking Madison. I think he might be like a hype pick. I think he is a, a, a player you include because you're fearful of other Madison owners. He is a decent pick, but is he the best pick? Is he, you know, I'm always looking for that opportunity to, to go differential and find an edge. It is so hard to find an edge in FPL these days. It is so, so hard. It gets harder every year, it seems like. And the edges that you do find are going to be marginal. But I think when you see an opportunity, you potentially take it. Um, so, yeah. Convince me. Convince me, chat. What have I got to do? Lance says, why not Barkley? Barkley does not impress me that much statistically. Outside of his goal uh, against Bournemouth, his numbers have been way, way down. Scott says, I think Madison is more explosive. I agree. Uh, and a streaky player and is in good form. Is, is he in good form? Is this the start of some good form? Or is it a one? Is it one game? He's one goal in his past six. Granted, he did get a few, he's got three assists during that time as well, which is decent. But does that count as Madison in that explosive form? Maybe. I just like to. I'd like to pick some midfielders that I think will score goals. That's what I want ideally. And I don't know if Madison gives me that. A creative, creatively brilliant. I don't know. Linus says Tony birthday bracing coming. We will be there. Yes, it is. Uh, happy birthday, uh, Ivan Tony. Uh, please reward uh, us all with a birthday present from you to us uh, by scoring a goal today. That would be very very nice. Right, Spurs score goals for fun. True. Forest away at Luton will be congested. And I like, well, come on. Come on. Let's be honest. 
Luton Town. You think they're going to keep things tight and keep the score low? When do they do that? Luton Town are are off. Are, are open. It's, an, it's, it's, it's always an open game. Always conceding chances. I concede like more chances than any other team in the Premier League, particularly down that the uh, the left hand side of their defence. So Alanga is not up for debate for me. I don't think. I don't think it's up for a debate. Seva says, "Are we even certain that Madison will start?" I th I'm. I think Madison will start, but I think he only plays sixty this week because of that um, that injury issue that he does have. Jack says, confidently going for Paqueta instead of Bailey. Fair enough. Fair enough. I like, I do like, I really like Paqueta. Really like him as a differential. I'm a little bit concerned that he looked like he did pick up a little bit of a minor injury during that, uh, during that Europa League game against Freiburg. Didn't look quite look right. Uh, he ended up staying on for the second half, but yeah. I don't know. Maybe like like Madison, we might see Paqueta and Madison kind of being 60-minute men this, this game week. And if they're 59-minute men, one-pointers, chaos. Pure chaos. Indeed. Zachariah, uh, hello there, Dan. Let's see the mighty blackcurrant squash toast, mate. Yes, certainly. Cheers, Zachariah. The blackcurrant squash must be drunk. Is Werner better than Madison? No, I don't think so. Because Werner is not guaranteed minutes. I, but, and he's also listed as a forward. If Werner, Werner was a midfielder, I might... I don't know. It could be interesting. could be interesting. Why not Gibbs White, Dan? Um, I don't mind Gibbs White. But I, I'd rather have like someone in those more uh, advanced areas. Particularly if we can try and exploit a... A position, a decent positional matchup like Alanga versus Luton left, uh, Luton's left hand side. It's a positional matchup thing, I think. Alanga, his numbers are great. Positional matchup is good. It's just things are pointing me in that direction. Ben says thoughts on three Spurs midfielders. My thoughts are there isn't three Spurs midfielders to go for. <laughs> I might not even have two. <laughs> hmm. What do we think then? Because no one's convincing me to go for Madison. I mean, I've, honestly, you have raised some interesting points about Madison being streaky. He definitely is streaky. When he gets in that run of form, he's amazing. Has he entered in that run of form? That's the question. I'm not 100%. Not 100%. Chris Wood. Don't think, uh, don't think Chris Wood is nailed, unfortunately. I know a lot of people are wanting to go for wood, but yeah. Unless we get some take, unless we get some leaks. If we get some leaks, then things might change. Let's see if we get leaks. Drop Madison and have Poro a doggy at the back. I'd be tempted. I would be tempted by that. Yeah. Raman says Madison has never blanked against Fulham in their stadium. I don't really pay too much attention to those kind of stats most of the time. Because as soon as the uh you know those those records are there to be broken. Different no you know, Spurs are a different system than last year. Like a very different system from last year. Um Fulham are a dis different system from last year. Madison previously, you know, I'm I'm guessing a lot of, you know, times he's returned against Fulham, he was playing for a completely different team, playing for Leicester. Um I mean, that's a very good point. <laughs> like Madison was, you know, he's been a Leicester player, hasn't he? Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't make Madison captain, though. Anyone thinking about captain in Madison, I don't think I'd go there. All right. I think for the time being, I maybe just throw in... I'm going to put in Caduce. Oh, I'm going to put a dog in. Oh, no. I'm not locked. I'm not locked in this. I'm not locked. But for now... Oh, dearie me. Let's play the free hit. Confirm transfers and play the free hit. Let's go you. Let's go... 
y there, y there. Uh, save team. Oh, wait, captain. Vice captain, probably Tony at this point. Save team. Okay, this is where we're at right now. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> Noel says, Morris Muniz or Wissa. I'm leaning towards Muniz. Um... I don't know, that's a good question. I think I would lean towards Morris out of those three, personally. I like, but, I like them all. I like them all. I think, I think Morris is probably the safest pick out of those. Because I do think Muniz has, you know, he will probably start, but I think Broja and Jimenez really, really could sneak in and get some minutes off Muniz. Really, really could. Hmm. Uh, Elliot says, does anyone know if you can change YouTube so that you can keep watching whilst on other apps on iPhone? Yes, the way to do that is to buy YouTube Premium. Uh, honestly, I know potentially YouTube Premium gets like a bad rap or whatever, but you get a completely ad-free experience. You can like close down the app and listen to like music on there. For, like, So it's like basically like having Spotify, a uh, completely ad-free YouTube experience all in one. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and I, yeah, like, I rate the, my YouTube premium subscription more than, like, my Netflix or, like, Spotify subscription. Like, it's just the subscription to get. But I watch a lot of YouTube. If you watch a lot of YouTube, I would definitely consider it, like, in the same vein. If you've got a Netflix subscription, you know, I think it's worth it. You can get, like, I don't know. You can get a lot of value for money out of it, I think. Um, FPL Waste Man in the chat says FPL Family Lee is uh, on a Sky on, uh, is on Sky Sports right now, and apparently Alfie Doughty has ice on his ankle. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, don't know. Let me really go about Madison. Is this like crazy? FM Percy says, only two Spurs starters. Yep. Yep. Yeah. At, at, at current, yes. Hmm. Is this me being dumb again? That's what I want to know. But the thing is, I just don't think anyone can, like, really strongly make a case for... All right. Because we're not just saying, oh, will Madison, you know, get FPL points or not. We're also saying, will Madison get more FPL points than Kudus? Because that's my decision, I think. Or is it? Is Bailey the player to drop out? Hmm. Where was Bailey's numbers? Did we even include Bailey? Oh, yeah, we did, yeah. He's up there with uh, with Son, really, with, with those numbers. I do want I do want to make sure I have the, those that Aston Villa attack covered. I think Aston Villa attack is more important than Spurs attack, generally speaking. So obviously Son is a lock. But after that, I think an Aston Villa double up could be I, I think Aston Villa have got more goals in them this game week than Spurs. I think Reguilon is maybe a little bit of a risk. But he has been training. If he starts, he's good. Madison is almost guaranteed to get you points, though. Is that true? He's blanked two out of the last four game weeks. So he's not guaranteed. Um, that was against Wolves and Brighton. Which you would say are similar quality defences as, uh, as, as, a, as a Fulham. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. DJ Hammer says, this feels like the kind of week that players like Kulu, Onyeka and Soshek will return instead. Oh, hell yeah. Hell, hell yeah. That's just, uh, that's just FBL. Uh, check his away form, says Prayer Zone. Uh, okay, so away against Aston Villa, he scored. Away against uh, Everton, he got an assist. Hasn't really played any other away games for m several months. Uh, assist against Palace, assist against Luton. Two assists against Arsenal. And then right at the start of the season, he got a couple of goals there as well. He's more of an assist man, isn't he? 
more of that assist kind of guy. Nothing is guaranteed yet. Well, something is guaranteed that something will go wrong. Sword's law. Murphy's law. Murphy's law of FPL. Something will go wrong. Anything that can go wrong, this game would will. <laughs> oh. Dan Madison is going to outscore Son. Remember this. He's not going to outscore Son. Sam says, and Dan uh, Polinio is fit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is a huge reason why I'm not actually that arsed about going all in on the Spurs attack. I think it's an inter I think it's just an interesting risk to play because if Madison blanks, if Madison blanks this game week, and I think there's a chance that happens, it's probably what I think Madison is probably at least fifty percent chance of returning this game week, which is decent. I think yeah, fifty percent chance of it to return this game week. I think that's pretty good. If I get the right sign, right side of the coin toss there, and Madison blanks. The way I kind of look at it is that I have an additional player because everyone else is going to have Madison. Everyone's going to have Madison. If I get the luck of the draw and Madison doesn't score, I've got an additional player than everyone else to potentially come in and get me FPL returns. Is that going to be Bailey, Alanga, Bowen, Kudus? I don't know. Because you would say Bailey, Alanga and Kudus are all differential. Probably. Paredes says, mate, let's debate a doggy versus Poro. Um, I think Poro historically has been the better pick. Um, there's not too much in it in terms of their numbers recently. A doggy arguably has the better positional matchup on the uh, left-hand side versus um, Fulham's weaker right-hand side. But, but... There's not much in it. <laughs> I honestly, I think the Pedro Porro versus a doggy kind of situation again, another coin toss, really. Nathan says, but Madison will score a hundred percent. But what do you mean, Na Madison will score a hundred percent? He doesn't score in a hundred percent of his games. He has not scored a goal in. What, in terms of how many goals, games this season he hasn't scored a goal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. He's already played 13 games without, without scoring this season. So he's not 100% going to score. It's like 50 50 he's going to get an attacking return. And this, it's that, that attacking return is more likely to be an assist than a goal. There's a, reason, a good reason why everyone else has Madison. Tell me then. Tell me the good reason. The good reason is everyone has him because everyone has him. We say this every week. People jump all jump on the same player and people play FPL with fear. There's nothing wrong with playing FPL with fear. If you want to do that, you you know, you want to consolidate, you want to protect, you don't want to take risks, that's absolutely fine. It's, it's fine to play FPL that way. And it's actually very sensible a lot of the time to play FPL that way. For me, though, this season, I feel like I just got to have some fun with it. And and take the risks where I think are, you know, viable, I guess. Ah. Great, great number 10. And he's a great player. Madison's a fantastic football player. I think, like I said, I think there's a good chance he returns. But I think he's been overhyped. Nathan says, "Think you're over. Uh, you're overthinking." Mm. Okay, maybe. <laughs> but if you you have to overthink to to find the edges, right? Ivan says, "Don't get cocky." I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm not at all. I. I think I, I'm not saying Madison is a bad pick. I think he's a great pick. But I don't think he's the only pick. Is what I'm saying. And Burmo differential, Dan? I don't think Burmo starts, to be honest. Jandre says, you are brave, Dan. You're doing everything I'm thinking, but don't have the balls to do. <laughs> let, well, I mean, let, let I mean, I, this probably does not pay off. But it will be fun. Uh, Mogulan says, uh, I'm not free hit. Should I get Tony for Slanky for a minus four? Yeah, 
yeah, sure. Go for it. Particularly if you've got free hit for 34. Ahmad says, I missed your, uh, a super chat. I'm so sorry, Ahmad, if I did. I did. Oh, yeah, sorry, Ahmad. Uh, minus four and play. Oh, wait, no, I didn't miss your super chat. I answered this one. Minus four and play a solid nine players, including Watkins or free hit. Yeah, I said, I said take the minus four. Yeah, take the minus four. Do it. Do I think Richarlison starts? No. I don't personally think uh, Richarlison starts. Scott Tidd says Johnson has more returns than Madison over six despite minutes. Even if he, even if he burnt you earlier in the season. Yeah, Johnson was a great pick uh, at the wrong time. <laughs> uh, similar to like Ike Nori. Another, I'm getting the differentials at the wrong time, I swear. Oh, well. Oh, well. Two for Tony today, reckons Gokol. Hmm. FPL Wasteman says one hour till deadline. Just under. Just under. Do I buy Moreno or Dina? If you have to ask that question, the answer is probably neither. Uh, Kabalash says you have Duran on the bench for backup. If that's the case, maybe Madison over Bailey. I get what you're saying. So I, I, I'm already guaranteed a, an Aston Villa attacker. But I like Bailey. I do like Bailey. And his numbers are really nice at the moment. He's doing well. He is doing well. Decent-ish for bonus as well. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Lukey says, Kudus over Bowen or Madison over Bowen? Uh, no, I think Bowen is pretty much a lock. You know, when you've got, when you're talking about a, an out of position, same with Son, you know, when we're talking about a player who's listed as a midfielder in FPL, but is actually playing as a forward in real life, and then playing against a weak defence like Aston Villa, and Aston Villa are a much weaker defence at the moment, then I think it's almost a no-brainer. Samuel says Jensen from Brentford. No, nah, I wouldn't be touching that. Wouldn't even be touching that. James says Dan, uh, Dan I think, has a small hate on James Madison. Oh, absolutely not. I was one of the first people to... I'm not one of the first people. I think I was, one, I was probably the first content creator to pick Madison this FPL season. Like, I had him... I think I had him game week one. I think he's a great... I think he's a great pick. And if you get him at the right moment, phenomenal. If I was on, if I was not on a free hit, I would be going for Madison over all of these midfielders, bar Son. But I am not on a, I, I am on a free hit, so I can take a one-week risk, I guess. Why is no one talking about Diaby? Because he's not nailed at all. Uh, what happened to your Paqueta differential? Do you still rate him? I do. I am a little bit worried about his uh, a potential knock that he picked up in the midweek. European game. I'm a little bit worried about that. Is Roslev injured? Not that I'm aware of. Is Madison injured? Uh, he's 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 carrying a little bit of an issue at the moment, and he's he's his training has been managed this game week, which makes you wonder: is his game time also going to be managed this week? I do still think he starts, though. I do think he starts. You know what? Let's let's um. I need to stop thinking about Madison for a minute. Let's um. Let's change the pace. We're making a phone call. This is a real life phone call as well. Hello. Hello. Have you done your free hit team? Would you like to do your free hit team? Would you like? I don't know. We've got. I've got like 2,000 people in here who might want to help you out. Yeah? Yeah, you can brush your hair first. That's fine. Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, we might be getting a special guest who wants to play their free hit and might need a little bit of help with it. We'll wait for the knock on the door. Uh, Scott says, how does Tony uh, affect and Burmo numbers? Well, I mean... Obviously, Mbomo has taken and scored a few penalties this season. And that has been a huge um, 
a huge advantage of Mbomo having those penalties, which did make him such a phenomenal pick. So I don't think I don't think we're going to see the same Mbomo for the second half of the season as we did in the first half of the season, just because I don't know. I guess yeah, I guess it's just kind of uh, it's just in, in incidental. Tony's going to take set pieces and, and, and penalties and this kind of stuff, and it is yeah, it's just going to limit well reduce Mbomo's threat but uh, but Mbomo is still a very good player from open play but I just don't think he's going to be that elite FPL pick that he was first half of the season hello did you just walk into the Hi. the wall <laughs> no no <laughs> it's true okay uh everyone please welcome uh Mrs FPL mate back your hair is uh, in your face. Uh, back for another appearance on the channel for the first mm. time since... When was the last time you were on? December? Uh, yeah, December. I'd say so. Well, you need to do your free hit team. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up another browser window. Yeah, that's cool. And we'll log you in and you can do it on here. Mm -hmm. So, do you know your login? Nope. You don't know your login? <laughs> I think it's saved on here though. Ah, it could be this. Yeah. No, wrong password apparently. Uh, hang on, let's try this. Nope, wrong password. Let me try. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Put your email and everything in. <laughs> and password if you can remember it. Sorry guys, I probably should have um, looked at this before. Yeah, you're gonna have to just no 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 huh? no no no. <laughs> so I forget you're like technologically. Um, I am a challenged. bit backwards. Um, yeah, just Go type on. in your email there. Right. Um. And then try your password. Oh. Stop clicking that. Sorry. <laughs> Can people see me typing this in? No. No one can see what you're doing, don't worry. They can see your face, that's about it. Oh, what a lovely... <coughs> right, you sit back here. I'm gonna just open up my phone and work it out, hang on. All right, fine. <sighs> Dan looks different, nice. <laughs> um, why does Dan have hair now? I have hair, still. <laughs> It's not as long as hers. <laughs> Love the new hair, Dan. I think people who were just like, who just like joined the stream just then probably were very, very confused <laughs> as to what was going on. It's like, oh my God, I need what to are you doing? <laughs> You're destroying my room. <laughs> what? It's so hard putting this beautiful setup together. It comes crashing down. <laughs> You might have to reset your yeah. password. Yeah, well, the password that's on my phone is the password I've been putting in. And it... I don't know why it's not working. Huh. Tell you what. Yeah. I will sort this out and I'll be back in five minutes. Great. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you carry on streaming and I will be back. Okay, sure. Cool. All right. We'll crack on with FPL stuff then for a little bit. Is Morgan on a free hit? Yes. Yes, she is. She is. Um, she's going to be doing her... Um, she's going to be doing her team live. Well, well, she hasn't even started making a free hit team. So what, she's, what we're trying to do is, is find out her password so she can log in on this computer that I'm using right now and we can do her free hit with her live. So there we go. Is there going to be any team news? As always, we never know. We never know. Um, in terms of Watkins, I'll say the same thing as I said in yesterday's video and on Twitter. Uh, basically, I don't know. I don't know. It's like I, I think he's. I think it's binary. Where is Milton, guys? Morgan's probably top hundred k. I don't think she's top hundred k. Where is Milton? He is. I don't know. Probably asleep somewhere. Where's Milton? It's downstairs. He's not joining the gang today. He's this is his sleep time. Sleeping 
sleeping during the day. Bench list. We're not getting a bench list this game. People, people have benches. You sorted. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Right. Right. Should we try this again? Let's try this again. Right, everyone, cross your fingers. <laughs> mm. I'm so proud of how quick I can type. It's great. <laughs> hey, there we go. Right, hang on, okay. because we need to actually throw this on screen. Mhm. Mm so I need to do this, and this. I think. Uh. Wait, no, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, window capture. Morgan's team. And we need to go like Lovely. that, but obviously that is too big. So <sighs> we need to shrink it and move the layout. Sorry about this. I swear it wasn't this hard last time we did it. To do what? Set everything up, or had you preset it? I'd preset it up. Oh. So let's go like. Oh, we need to make it smaller, I think. Let's see. We'll get there. Hang on, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> right, did we just put it like. That will do. Yeah. Possibly. Maybe needs to move across a little bit. <laughs> Right. There we go. That'll do. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's go. Pick a team. Amazing. Um, up here, all right? Yeah. You're going to have to help me navigate because I never use the um website. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. No, we need to go. Wait, how many players have you actually got for this game week? I think I've got everyone. No, I mean like before a free hit. Oh, oh, oh. You've got <laughs> Ariola, Doughty. I've got Watkins, four. Morris. You've got I've Emerson on the bench Emerson. there. Possibly injured. God, that's shocking, isn't it? You know what? I had two. So, before I played my free hit. Did you? Yeah. Okay, maybe then I am doing a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, don't worry. We're going to free hit. Everything's going to be amazing. Okay, so play this one. And well, I'm play free hit, or am I just... Wait. Uh, are you on the transfers page? No, you said pick two. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, go transfers. And then you can basically just click X on everyone. Amazing. So I have 6.3 million in my bank as well. Oof. Money which bags. Which is amazing. I've been saving up my pennies. <laughs> what can I spend it on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I might keep Ariola for a moment. Mm -hmm. Just because he's a good egg at Miss Perk. <laughs> he's a good egg. He's a good egg. As in he has a fixture. He has a fixture. I feel like he's getting points as well, isn't he, at the moment? Okay, so I've got a completely empty team. I yeah. have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. So, okay. shall we shall we show everyone my technique of how I of how I play FPL? Yeah, go for it. So, <laughs> this is like this is the master way of playing FPL, this, by the way. <laughs> this is the master way to play FPL. Okay, so listen carefully because <laughs> if <laughs> this one here, <laughs> how rude. <laughs> So, right, let's do our... Uh, are they defenders at the top? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they there are defenders. There you go. Right, so we're going to find our replacement. Uh, you can select, you select players on the right oh, on yeah, the yeah. Uh, website. Oh, this is very different to the phone app. So what I normally do, guys, I go select by form. Very good. And then I go at affordability cost, which... At the minute, I've got 96.9 million, so it doesn't really matter, right. does it? I don't think money is going to be an issue. So, I pick the top one of the list of the best form. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually don't know if they're playing or not, Dan, so you might just have to. Can I ex make this page a bit bigger? No. Okay. Um, can I just quickly interrupt and yeah. say um, thank you very much, FPL Juice Show, for the uh, gifted mm -hmm. membership there. Uh, thank you very much. I'm not sure who at juice that was but i uh, appreciate it uh, also they say looking forward to mr mate coming on tuesday yes um not this coming tuesday but the week after i will be going on the fpl juice show for their uh for their side show yeah so uh, yeah i'll be on like in a couple of weeks i guess um but yeah yeah thank you very much for the gifted membership morgan continue with your team <laughs> um are arsenal playing this week no 
Okay. Uh, Brighton playing this week. No. A Tottenham playing this week. Yes. Well, there we go. Romero. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. There we go. First player in. Easy. But you know what? For the sake of it, let's double check because you moan at me. We're going to check his fixtures. But this is just a free hit, isn't it? What so on earth has gone on there? I don't know. It's gone a bit funky, hasn't it? Yeah, it's gone a bit funky. But they have... Who are they playing against this week? It's that top one there. So, Fulham away. Fulham. Oh, lovely. Did you like that one? Okay, so let's add him for a moment. Obviously, He's in. we can mix and match. We can kind of go about our day if we need be. So next one. Yes. Okay, so we've got another defender. This we don't need really another need... four defenders. Oh, it, please tell me Wolves are playing. No. I, oh, Why? I really like this one. Why? Out Nori. I had him in my team last year and he smashed it, and then he did really well last week. Mm. Um, Crystal Palace. No. Fulham? Yes, they're playing against Spurs. Mm, then no. Man City? <laughs> no. Liverpool? No. <laughs> oh my God. Your technique is not too hot this game, Luke. Chelsea? No. Um, Newcastle? No. Um, West Ham? Yes. Oh, yeah, but is, what's Emerson likely to come back and play? I don't know for 100%, to be fair. Actually, he's not done that well recently either. No. So who exactly is playing? Because this is um, ridiculous. Yeah, kind of. What's the point in having a game week if no one's playing? Well, eight teams are playing. That's pathetic. So you've got Spurs, Fulham, okay. Brentford, uh, Forest, Burnley, Luton, Aston Villa, West Ham. Ooh, can we put Luton players in? You certainly can. I love a bit of Luton. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Okay. I just, you know... You're representing the Luton boys. Mm. Okay. Although there doesn't seem to be many Luton defenders. <laughs> Not by your form list, no. In the form list. So, right, okay, Mr. FPL, mate. <laughs> I don't know who to put down as a defender. Why well, don't... Uh, okay, well, by your technique, we've got <laughs> Bassi, Robinson, Castagna, okay. who have fixtures, and uh, Roslev. Oh, gosh, I don't even know it. these names. No. So I'm just going to have to put all those in. Surely. If, if you want, if you, yeah, if you want, that would give you three Fulham defenders against Spurs. <laughs> it's not good, is it? It's not ideal. Uh, yeah, by but your you never technique, know. Though, I guess. Oh, it, well, maybe throw in one then. Maybe throw in one Fulham defender and put them on your bench, probably. Robinson? Remember, you're probably going to be benching two of these Robinson. defenders that you pick. Yeah, Why not? sure. Okay, right. Defenders are stressing me out, so let's go on to midfielders. Okay. Um, and same process, guys. We go by form mm. and affordability cost, but we're okay. We're cooking, so <laughs> we're going to put Sonny Son on. Yeah, makes sense. We do love our Son. Mm -hmm. um, Chelsea, you said, isn't playing, is yeah. he? Um, West Ham are playing, and you've got Bowen there. Oh, yeah, Bowen's doing good at the minute. Danny Dyer's hubby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, you know that. Oh, I will be. I will be. I will be. I will be. Yeah, okay. I will be. Okay, I will be. <laughs> we met him. Yeah, we did meet him. Yeah, we've got a cool pick with him. Aston Villa, are they playing? They are. So is I will be. Yeah, but you. Mm, it's against Spurs, though. Yeah, but he's like an attacker. So it's like Spurs do concede goals. Fine. I don't actually hate a will be as an FPL pick, to be fair. Yeah. I don't hate him as a pick. Man United, are they playing? No. Actually, Man United are rubbish. <laughs> it's going to annoy a lot of people having That's that. fine. I'm a woman. <laughs> what does that mean? No one can be mean to a woman. Um, Madison. I like Madison. Okay. Although I think I'm full on Tottenham players now. So yeah, that's I need three to, out of three. need to just bear in mind. Um, Bailey, is he good? Yeah, reasonably. Reasonably good, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Right. Nice. Midfield sorted. Midfield sorted. I'm trying to see. Um. Can fit Watkins back in. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No. I'm you can. I'm, just, I'm trying to keep an eye on your chat to see if people are like going crazy there, over my select process. Um. Okay. So same again. By mm. form. Bournemouth are they playing? No. No, they're not, are they? Um. Do 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 do. So out of those, Watkins is playing, Muniz is playing, 
I might put uh, Morris yeah. in. Yeah. Because I, I think I've got Morris in my team at the moment, or at least did. And he, he did all right, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Because there was the two players, weren't there? And I chose Morris and you chose the other one, and then Morris oh, did better. I didn't choose the other. The other player was Adebayo at the time. Yeah. But then you picked Morris, and Adebayo ended up getting injured when everyone else was picking Adebayo. And Morris was getting all the goals at the time. <laughs> so um, he did well there. Yeah, so we'll put him in. Mm -hmm. And then... Who else, sorry, is... So, going through this whole list, yeah. just to point to the players who do have a fixture. Okay. So, Watkins, Muniz... Oh, Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins, is yeah. How is he likely to play? Well, you saw his wound. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going to play. Based on your expert Based paramedic on my... knowledge. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, I just feel like if you've got stitches around your knee... They're going to split if you fall over in a tackle and then he's going to come off anyway. So, no, I'm not I'm not going to put him in. I'm not. Why waste my money? Fair enough. What did the press conference say? It was embargoed, so we don't know. Oh. Well. Good luck, guys. Um, Who else did you say sorry? Um, oh, uh, so, yeah, Watkins, Muniz, Werner, who is there. Uh, mm -hmm. Then Morris. I've got Morris. Ogbené. Ogbené. Fafana. Who are Luton playing against? Uh, Forest. Nottingham Forest. Ooh. Maybe I should put two Luton people in there. Do you reckon? Well, one thing about Ogbené is that yeah. he's a striker in FPL. <laughs> but he plays like... I don't know. He, he doesn't play as a striker. He plays, plays more like a mid, like, right midfielder. So it's like a mix of both then? You know what? Let's do it. Okay. I am the risk taker in this. I have to say, community. I've not seen anyone go for a Cabernet in their free And this, this is why I do good. No. <laughs> um. Okay. Right. I need to be quick because I'm a bit cautious of the fact that this is your channel. Mm. Um. And we've got thirty-five minutes to the deadline. Oh gosh. Yeah. People are going to be angry. Okay. Welbeck. No. No. Not in a forest. No. They're going to lose. Um, 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 oh, Dan, come on, give me, give me someone, um, just throw a name out there. Um, Tony. Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony. Where is he? Hey, he won't be on that, li well, will he be on that list somewhere? There he is. There you go. Okay, fine. There you go. Okay, right. So you just need to stress out with three defenders. Ugh, okay, 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 okay. Um... Bassi, is he all right? He has a fixture against yep. Spurs. Mm. Okay, you know what? I'll put him on and then I can bench him. Okay, sure. And then, okay, um, 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 remind me who he's playing again. Who? Uh, West Ham, Aston Villa. Yeah. Uh, you've got three Spurs already. You've got three Fulham mm -hmm. already. Um, Forest, Luton. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, let me see. Someone. <laughs> Oh, this is stressful. I hate FPL. <coughs> um, Doherty? Doughty. Yeah, he plays. Yeah, let's get Doughty on. I've got him on my... I did have him on my team at one point. You did? You, you have him in your non-free hit team, your normal team. Oh, yeah, I do, don't I? Um, okay, who else, who else, who else? Newcastle? Nope. No. West Ham? Yes. Kufel? Kufel. Kufel? Kufel, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Um. Oh, but Dan, I've got goalkeeper. eighteen million pound left. Yeah, but like the expensive players just aren't playing this game. It's that like everyone's got a load of money in their bank. Most people don't have quite this much money in their bank. <laughs> well, granted. I'm just taking it. Um, Aston Villa. Yes. I'm just gonna put him in it. Sorry. What? what? Huh? Goalkeeper. What? He doesn't... Why is he at the top of the form table? Oh, he's not. You're page two. Oh, that's so weird why it doesn't reset. How bizarre. I'm so, I'm so confused by that. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't really care about... Or, or should I maybe do a player who, just in case? I well, I would, I'll pick a player who has a fixture at the very least. Um, <laughs> not Leno because he's playing against Spurs. You already tripled up on Fulham anyway. Um, Nottingham Forest sells. They play against uh, Luton Town. Uh, Fine. Uh, Ariel is going to be my main player right. anyway. Cool. Fine. Right, then. 
click the make transfers. Do I need to? Okay. And then it will come up a uh, play free hit at the bottom. Yeah. And then I think just confirm. Confirm. Yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Now you just need to make sure the right players are what on the pitch. What a risk, guys. And what then... a risk. <laughs> okay, so let's just captain Son because, you know, he's Son. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I'm going to vice captain Bowen. Okay. Um, is there anything, anyone on my bench who you probably would recommend switching out for? Um, I would, I don't know. I would possibly think about playing a Wobi over Ogbene. Yeah. Possibly. I don't know. Chat, what do you think? By the way, chat is about 20 seconds behind. So you ask them a question and you get the answer 20 <laughs> seconds later. Um, okay, fine. Yeah, what would you do in the chat to this team? Who would you bench? Who would you start? And now we wait in silence mm. for 20 seconds. So well, just someone said I will be. Okay. Someone said um, um, may. Bring in um, 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 <laughs> um, 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 way. <laughs> getting a call from Northern Ireland. No, I don't know. Okay, fine. Chat is saying switch. Switch who? Well, they just said put Iwobi on. Oh, okay. So yeah. We'll do that, and then I'm pretty solid, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Defense, I think, is. Pretty is defend is yeah. defending. Defend the defense is defending. Yeah. Goalkeeper, are we happy with Ariola over Cells? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think it'll be okay. Yeah. I think everyone <laughs> seems to be happy with what you've got there. Cool. Just make sure you save the team at the bottom. Amazing. Save your team. Right, guys. Thank you for following me on this FPL journey. <laughs> it's been a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll see, I'll see you on my main channel. <laughs> you don't have a main channel. Now it's time to... Bye! Bye! <laughs> have fun. Will do. I'll see you in like, I don't know, an hour. Yeah, no dramas. And then we'll go Thanks, guys. See you later. <clears throat> right. Well done. Well done, everyone involved. Uh, and uh, <laughs> feel free to now leave the stream because the best content is behind us um but there we go that's um that is mrs fpl mate's final team for this game week uh can you guys see that okay is it fully on screen pretty much let's just zoom out maybe oh no that just screws up okay you can pretty much see that can't you yeah, it's 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 not the worst. It's not the worst free hit team I've ever seen. It's maybe missing a, a couple of key picks, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. However, we do need to park that because we're back on we're, we're back on the serious content now. Back on back to the serious uh, serious stuff. There we go. There we go. Uh, Dan, do you have access to her account? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's on. It's logged in on this computer right now. Why would you let her play Robinson? I mean, that wasn't re not, wasn't really a better option on a bench, to be fair. Uh, why Romero instead of Porro or a doggy? I mean, I don't know why you guys are trying to go logically with with uh, with Mrs. FPL mate's team. Like, she follows she follows the form method. She looks to see who has the best form uh, according to the FPL website, and she picks those players. Dumb done but the fpl uh, the mrs fpl mate takeover is over it's over we can actually answer some proper questions oh we can answer some proper questions so guys yeah i do apologize for the lack of like answering you guys's questions and comments and stuff um but hopefully we can do a bit of that now in the final 30 minutes before deadline so let's get going Lida says Robertson assist is coming. I'm telling you now. <laughs> you know what? It probably happens now, doesn't it? It probably happens. Um, why no Madison? I, I don't know who I, I don't know who else I would uh, who I would sacrifice for Madison in my team. I think a lot of people probably just joining now or having joined in the last thirty minutes have not seen any of my uh, of my free free hit picks. 
But yes, we are currently on no Madison. Are we really going without Madison? I think so. I think so. Why is my screen blurry? It shouldn't be. I think that might be your stream, my friend. We should be fine. Unless my internet has dropped. No, it looks like we're stable. Um, and Burma to Pumty, yes. Why no Kulisevsky or Wissa? I mean, <laughs> at this point, I, you don't have to like justify every single player in the Premier League who you're not picking. Can you imagine that? Like, how many players are there in the game of FPL? Like, have like players to pick from? Maybe a thousand players to pick from, and you have to justify everyone who's not in the fifteen-man squad that you have. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, any news or leaks on Watkins? No, and I don't think we'll we'll get anything uh, either because it is going to be well tomorrow. Um, I'll check out to see if there are any leaks though of anything. May as well have a quick look. Doesn't look like it. Other than, looks like Region starting. Yes. Okay, it looks like... Nice. Okay, yeah. Reguilon starting, guys. All right. Um, that's really helpful because, because Reguilon was one of the picks I guess I was less confident on because I thought there was maybe a slight risk of of um, of Reguilon not starting because of, you know, maybe still carrying an injury, but... Apparently he starts, which is good. So I think that locks him in. I think that locks my defence now. I think that locks my defence in. Happy with that. Although, does that make me want to maybe go for a different goalkeeper? Maybe spread the chance a little bit? I don't know. Maybe not. Why not Morris? Uh, I just I just think I, I like a lot of the midfielders a little bit more. I think I prefer the, the five-man midfield this game week. I think there's a lot of fun midfield differentials to pick from. Jacob says, wait, Dan, you're showing team. I'm showing a team. <laughs> uh, Wissa starting? I don't know, but I would imagine so. I would imagine he is starting, yeah. But yeah, I've got no confirmation on that. Oh, why not Madison? I mean, because I just like some of the other midfielders. I don't really feel like I have a place for Madison in my midfield. I think I've, I think these other midfielders that I've got are perhaps more fun picks, more interesting picks, playing in games which I think there will be more goals in. To be honest, Region news is Region starts. That's the Region news. The scaling on the FPL website is atrocious. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, Dan, do you like Hudson O'Doy as a cheeky differential? I don't mind him, but I prefer a Langer. I much prefer a Langer. Paqueta or Kudus? I think Kudus is safer. Uh, Harrison says, hi, mate. Apologies if you've already covered it, but are you now more confident about a Langer's start? I am, yes. Because of Nuno Esperinto Santos comments uh, in his press conferences. He basically said um, that he that Alanga was benched for a tact for kind of a tactical decision, uh, he, but then he went on to kind of acknowledge that the tactical decision didn't really play, pay off. And when the when the guys Hudson Odoi and Alanga came on in the second half, he saw a, 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 a you know a big improvement and he was impressed by the way that they uh, played in that second half. So that and he also did even say that there will be changes to this Forest team. Um, so that to me does suggest that now, you know, Alanga and Hudson Odoi are going to come back into the starting eleven. So I am feeling reasonably confident about that now. So I think that you think it changes. Uh, I think it changes things a little. Uh, Dylan says, Dan, would you say that it's worth missing out on Tony to get uh, the slanky Everton fixture and Madison Luton fixture in thirty? I mean, you can have both Tony and Madison. I mean, you. I don't think that Everton fixture is necessarily amazing for Everton. For for, for Bournemouth, sorry, uh, and Slanky. So I don't know if it's that much of a big deal. I think Tony's Tony's fine off top, uh, fine player to hold. 
really for the remainder of the season. I mean, Burnley, Manchester United and Brighton both at home. Aston Villa is an easier fixture now than it was previously. Then we've got Sheffield United and Luton Town in 33 to 34. Like, he's a, you know, he's a decent player to, to have. Decent. Richarlison trained. Can I start him? If you already have him in your team, I would think about starting him, yeah. But... You know, if, if, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have him in a free hit team. I wouldn't buy him. I would say. Choose two: Douglas Louise versus Gibbs White versus Morris. I'd choose Gibbs White and Morris. I wouldn't choose Douglas Louise. Bailey or Alanga? I think I'm leaning Alanga at the moment. If you didn't have Watkins and not on a free hit, would you transfer him in? No, no, I don't think I would. I think I'd I'd take the risk of not owning him. But you are taking a risk. If he starts, then you're in trouble. You are in trouble. Uh, Dan, how many players do you hope to have doubling in 34? I mean, I can get... I think in a best case scenario, I can get to nine double game week players in 34. But I actually... I don't think I want that <laughs> in a way. I think um, I'll, there'll be enough, you know, decent picks who don't have double game weeks that... You know, we'll, you know, if you have nine double gaming players, that means you, out of like Salah, Haaland, Saka, Gabriel, these kind of players, you're only going to have two of them starting. You know, if if playing with nine double game week players means benching Saka, then I'm not massive on it, I guess. Here for FPL says 10 players, Bradley to Poro for a minus four, making it 11. Wildcard 31 would be a th 4-3-3 setup. Could potentially sell Foden rather than Bradley, but have money tied up. Um, yeah. I don't think I'd go... For, I think I'd go for a doggy rather than Pedro Porro, to be honest, because he's cheaper. And, it, you know, it just frees up a little bit of money for you to maybe make a transfer in 30 before your wildcard. It maybe gives you a little bit more freedom on your final game week 30 pump. And I don't think there's enough difference between Porro and a doggy to... Uh, to necessarily justify the price tag if it's for more than one game week and money is a consideration. So there we go. Any news on Region? Yes, he starts. Nidish says, start Region or Toffolo. No clean sheet expected in both. I would start Region. Um, Hornet Boy says, please, can we get a bench list? Why? Nobody has, nobody has a bench this week. Did they? It wouldn't be even be a bench list. It would just be an order of, it just be a, like an order of players that I think are good this week. I guess Morris or Didi for Fana. It depends if you want to invest in the Brentford defense. If you invest in the Brentford defense, I'd personally go all in and and um, exp well hope that Fafana blanks. I think I'd go for Morris out of the two players to be honest. Start Bailey instead of Morris. I would consider it. Yeah. Thoughts on playing both Muniz and Awobi? Mmm. Don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Not massively key. <laughs> uh, Edward says, uh, I do need to bench this. Powell, Powell or Taylor to bench. <laughs> Flip a coin, my friend. Flip a coin. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> They're both blanking, probably, aren't they? Uh, Oil AU says negative uh, eight to do Trippier to Region. Already done Solanke to Meniz and Erdegaard to Morgan Gives White for nine players, including Emerson and Watkins. No wild card, saving free hit for 37. Is that a question? Uh, trying to make out what that is. I mean, yeah. Yeah, looks, looks good. Looks good. You're good to go. Um, the only issue is that you don't have a wild card. So getting away from like some of these players might be a little bit difficult in the future. But hey, let's see what happens. Yeah, saving free hit for 37. Not got bench boost still for 37 though. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Is Madison injured? Uh, he's carrying an injury, but he's not injured. He is uh, expected to start. He's expected to start. Of course, nothing's guaranteed in football, but there we go. Uh, hey, Tam, no. Bench points do not count on your free hit. It's your, your bench boost is the only way you can get points from your bench, excluding auto subs. 
So no, your bench points do not count on, on a free hit. Uh, any news on Burbo starting? Mm, do, 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 do. Let's see. And Burmo is on the bench. And Burmo is back on the bench. There you go. So he's not starting. But, so I would not be picking Burmo at all. But yeah, there we go. Uh, Sid Vicious says, Tony for Solanke for free or play with 10 men? I think I'd go for Solanke. For free, I would think I would do that. Yeah, like no doubt about it. Is there anything else that we have from Brentford? Not sure. Any thoughts on Duran? He's on my bench. I think if Watkins doesn't play, he could be a nice differential to come off the bench there. So Raw still have a good differential. Yep, yep, like him. Thoughts on our knee? I just, I think the word our knee situation, if you really want to take a risk and pick one of them, go for it. I really couldn't tell you which one's going to start. I really, really could not tell you that. It's such a risk. Um, it really, really is a huge risk. So, yeah. At, at, <laughs> do it at your own risk, at your own peril. Like, even, like, which, whichever one does start, they're probably only playing 60 minutes. Maybe even less. Like, our knee, we've seen a couple of times, he's only played 45 minutes, stopped at half time. Whether that's on or off. So, it is a consideration. Why no Morris? Because I just, because I like this formation more. I think it's the pretty... Straightforward answer. I just prefer this formation. Um, Region will start. Yes, we know Region is starting. Region versus Roslev. I'm now that we know Region's got a start. I'm backing Region. Now that we know that he's going to start. Will Emerson play? Not sure. I wouldn't be super confident about that. Have we any early team news? The only team news we have for Brentford is that that Region starts and Burmo's on the bench. Captain Paul, I don't think there's any point. Any news on Roslev? Uh no, not at not at this present moment, but of course we will keep an eye on proceedings. Hmm. We'll see. Uh Dan, you can only choose one who you're picking, Doughty or Region. Uh Doughty. I think I'd go for Doughty. Morris or Duran? Uh, if they're just going to be on your bench, then Duran. If you're going to start this player, then Morris. Dan, Spurs defender for a hit? No. I don't think I'd buy any defenders for a hit this week. Personally. Would you recommend minus four to bring Madison in? Mm, yeah, potentially. Potentially, yeah. Captain Paul, please, says Ryan as well. Do we really need it? Okay, let's do, let's do like a five, like a two minute flash Captain Paul, guys. So who is your game week 29 captain? I'm going to put Son, Tony, Watkins, and other. And we'll leave it up for five seconds. See it being 90% on human Son, so so obvious. And then we'll end that poll because it's boring. <laughs> Uh, is Madison out? No, no, not necessarily. Not necessarily. No concern over Flecken with all the Brentford injuries. I mean, a little bit, but yeah, give me a goalkeeper who you think is going to keep a clean sheet this week. Have you seen Doughty's ankle? Yeah, apparently on ice. Apparently. John says, can you read my comment? I really love you. I really love you too, John. I really love you too. Cash. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I, to be honest, defenders don't thrill me this game week. Um, and I think there's so many different right answers to the defence. Why Kudus over Paqueta? I'm a little bit worried about Paqueta carrying a bit of a knock at the moment. I'm a little bit worried. <sighs> Nikar says, free hit active, punt on Fafana or Gibbs White? You can do. I mean... 
Fafana, I would I'd maybe lean towards Fafana over Gibbs White, but Gibbs White has pens. Uh, yeah, I just, or, or would I? I think if, if it was in my team right now, given that I'm doubled up on the Brentford defence, I would rather go for Gibbs White, not for Fana. Would you do Johnson over Pedro as a punt? Mm, no, probably not. There's too many other good midfield options and not really too many good defence options. Is Hudson Oigdoy a good pick? Yeah, he's fine. Fine differential. Chong? Yeah, fine differential. Who's your favourite differentials? I've got them all on my pitch. Bailey. Alanga and Kudus. I mean, I'm assuming those guys are going to be differential. I mean, what's their ownership right now? They creeped up. Kudus 9.3. Alanga 4.7. Bailey 8.7. So I feel like they still will be differentials to a degree. Dan Cross says, uh, uh, defenders don't throw me at this game week. And then you're playing five at the back. Uh, has to be dumb. Has to be dumb. If you're not on a free hit this week. Paquetta or Douglas Louise? Uh, Paquetta. More fun. Why don't you have Madison? Because I like a, a bunch of other midfielders and this is my opportunity on a free hit to take a, to take a punt on them. Ed says third striker. Why Duran instead of Wood up front? Because I'm not... like If Watkins doesn't start, I need to have a backup forward who I know is going to start. And Wood is not that. <laughs> he really is not that. And, you know, a lot of people going for Wood. A lot of people going for Awani. Half of you, you know, say it's like 50-50 or who, which one you're going for. Half of those people going for a Nottingham Forest forward are going to be very, very disappointed in 40 minutes' time. Very disappointed. So that's why. Um, that's why I'm not going there. Uh, Duran, if Watkins doesn't start, I want to have the striker for Aston Villa against the worst defence of the game week, which is West Ham. I want to have, you know, an, a, a striker against that team. And if it's not going to be Watkins, it's going to be Duran. Could be a masterclass. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of low-key hoping that Watkins doesn't start now because it will probably help me to beat the non-free hitters and also give me that super differential. But... I'm going to start Watkins still. Forrest will get cooked today. Well, kind of hope they don't, considering I only have one losing player. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm a little tired. That's so rude. Oh, I apologise. Morris versus Muniz. Morris feels safer. Douglas Louise or Madison. I prefer Madison. Is Morris any good? Yep, decent. Could the RB be up front? Not as a lone striker, no. No, I don't think so. Yeah, whenever Watkins hasn't played, um, Duran has played. It would be funny if Bailey and Diaby starts. Can you really see Musa Diaby and Leon Bailey as a two-man strike force? Well, it's not happened before. Like, I don't see a reason why Duran wouldn't come straight in there. That's what happens every time. I mean, hey, you never know. You never know, right? You never know. Any leak on Tony? I, don't, I mean, I would not even be worried about that one. I don't even think you need to worry about a leak for uh, Tony. He should start. Let's see what we got. Any extra team news? Little bits of information on the timeline. Oh, come on. Hmm, can't really see anything. Still just Region. Don't know. Did you remove Madison? He is not in the team at this moment. Currently. Hi, is Jensen starting? I don't know. Why are you picking Jensen? It's Tony's birthday. Yes, so I hear. Wood News, none. Uh, Whistle or Morris. I would, I'd lean, I'd lean Morris. Why would you sacrifice Madison for a doggy just to leave a doggy on the bench? I'm not sacrificing Madison for a doggy. I'm sacrificing Madison for Bailey, Alanga, Kudus. That's, that's what I'm doing. Romero. Yeah, maybe. He's fine. I feel like, I think Let's Talk FPL tweeted this. 
either earlier or yesterday. Like, everyone has got a million different differentials they want to talk about. The truth is, they're all fine. <laughs> they're, 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 they're fine. They're okay. None of them are like... None of them are like amazing must-own players. A lot of them are decent. Decent. Uh, Louis says, hey Dan, thanks for the help. Dan, uh, being a new father means I have almost no time to, for any research. So I very much appreciate you. Cheers from Chicago. Well, Louis, you are perfectly welcome. And uh, congratulations on your, well, I guess the beginning of your journey into parenthood. Amazing and exciting times for you. Far more exciting than FPL, I can imagine. Uh, Regulon start, yes. Regulon starts. Regulon starts, Regulon starts, Regulon starts. Should I just put that on screen so uh, I have to, I don't have to keep answering that one? Uh, I think we probably should. Regulon. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Regulon starts. And um, Burmo on the bench. There we go. Morris or Watkins, who to start? I'd start Watkins. I would, if you have Watkins, start him. I think. I think. Bench who of Paqueta, Gibbs White or Morris? I would bench Gibbs White. Bench list? No, no bench list. Ahmed says bench one of Bailey, Morris or Alanga. I would bench Morris. I think. Uh, but like Morris is like the most template player. If you want to play safe, play Morris and bench probably Alanga. And play Morris and Bailey and bench Alanga. That's the safe template move. But I, I actually do prefer Bailey and Alanga. Just about. It's tight. Um, Francisco says, why not Madison? <sighs> Maybe I should just put Madison in. Should I just put Madison in? I feel like I'm... I feel like at this point, I probably just should do it. Um, the reason I'm not going for Madison is because uh, I just like the other midfielders i think madison is you know his his like looking at the stats his numbers are you know middle of the park in terms of the midfielders we're talking about like he's not 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 really a standout um player particularly for attacking returns uh for like for goals like expected goals shots uh he really is not a standout pick at all among the popular um uh, like midfielders. In fact, he's actually probably one of the least likely players to score a goal. Um, getting assist is far more likely, of course. Um, so, yeah, I, I do still think he's a good pick. But I don't think he is... Um, a, a lot of people kind of assume that Madison... You have to pick Madison. I don't think you have to pick him. He's okay. He's definitely a decent pick. He's definitely one of the better midfielders to go for. But I don't think he's the only one to go for. And I think, in addition to Madison's numbers kind of being a little bit middle of the park in terms of the kind of midfielders that we're talking about he also is currently carrying an injury he is not a hundred percent guaranteed to start i think he will start but i don't think he's a hundred percent guaranteed to start and even if he does i think he is the kind of player who could have their uh have the minutes managed a little bit since he is carrying a little bit of an injury at the moment and in addition to that fulham away isn't that easy of a fixture particularly with palinia back in the uh fulham team so Overall, Madison is a great pick. There are many decent picks. He's, but to me, he's not the only pick. And actually, I kind of like, because I'm on a free hit, if I'm on a, if I'm on a wild card or if I'm on a, you know, just free transfers, I would be choosing Madison because I'd much rather have Madison for the longer term. He is a nice, much nicer, longer term FPL pick that you can own for several game weeks and have a great time with that. However, for this game week alone... Why not, attack, why not have some fun with it? If you think that there are some potential punts that could actually outscore Madison, and I do think that, then why not? This is the time to do it. A free hit is the time to try something out because you're not locked into anything for the long term. So that's why I'm not going for Madison. He's still a great pick. I'm not saying don't pick Madison. If you want to you know, play the template and you know, be, be safer, then you absolutely must pick Madison. You must pick him. My season is, is I've not really got anything to protect or consolidate. 
I would like to take a couple of risks and try and have some fun with it. If Madison ends up, you know, getting a 15 point of this game week, I'll only have myself to blame. Um, but I'm following the numbers, which is something I need to do more of. Following the numbers, I'm looking at, uh, you know, some going for some interesting differentials in a unique opportunity. Again, like everyone's, everyone's, you know, people complain that everyone's team is the same. But then you get, you know, obviously people will be probably critical when someone tries to do something a little bit different. And it will happen. I'll post my team on Twitter later and everyone will be like, Dan, you are such an idiot. I can't believe you're not picking Madison, blah, 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 blah. That's fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinions. But at the same time, you'll have people complaining that everyone's team looks the same and no one's brave enough to do anything different. Why not? Why not? Sam Sam says, is this your real team? You'll have to wait till deadline to find out. Am I doing a troll on the show team gang? Are we doing a troll on the show team gang? You guys are about to find out. Is this my real team? Or have I still, have I just done you all? Have I absolutely finessed all of the show team gang? Let's find out in a few seconds because it's still deadline is still not passed. <laughs> deadline is still not passed. I'm I'm oh deadline there we go deadline's passed. Right guys, we are locked. We are locked in. Woohoo! Free hits active. Now you may have thought that this was my team. You may have thought that. However. It's even a phone call, actually. <clears throat> oh, hang on. Let's get all the props out. Let's get all, let's get all the props out. Uh, let's get the, 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 the crown. The, let's get the... Uh, well, let's get everything out. Uh, we'll go full screen. We'll go full screen for this. Is that... Is, hello. Hello. Is that... Uh, is that Mr. James Madison? Yes, hello James, hello James. Uh, it's Dan from FPL Mate. I'm just wondering, uh, are you in my FPL team or not? Are you in my FPL team? Oh. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. Okay, right, fine, thank you. So it, so it turns out I'm actually not the king of trolls. And um, I don't win any any awards today and no Oscar awards today for me uh, because this is my real team yes no this is my real team but I like that I keep you guys on on edge uh, we're gonna end the poll by the way because I mean obviously everyone's captain and son but yeah no this is, this is genuinely my real team I'm, I'm going no Madison Can you, but I feel like this would be a bit harsh to troll the show team gang like for a two hour stream to then say, oh yeah, everything I just said, by the way, complete lie. I could, I could do that. That's a bit harsh. So yeah. Debated. Yeah, that's my real team. Let's see what happens. Dan, are you lying? Are you still, still not convinced? Still not convinced. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Why did everyone buy Regium? Because he, we got news that he's starting, which is very, very good news. Carl says, if people did their research, they would come to their own conclusion. They would. And but everyone, you know, people might come to different. This is a unique week where there's so many good options. Well, so so many okay options, I guess. Not necessarily good options, but okay options. Ah. Uh. Harley says, I don't know who my captain is this week. I kept switching as the deadline ran out. Let fate decide. Who are you switching in between? Gabrielle says, I got Richarlison first bench. Interesting, interesting. See how it goes. Joshua says, Alanga over Gibbs White. I mean, that's what I did, yeah. Louis says, I decided just before... Uh, the lockdown to captain the birthday boy Tony. Fair enough. 
Fair enough. Calling the deadline ending a lockdown. I like that, by the way. Uh, Chillabant says, I decided not to risk bringing Watkins in. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Thunderboy says, Coventry's winning against Wolves. Yeah, that could really shake up game week 34. Because... Game week 34... This could bring Arsenal back into play. Uh, I think. I believe. Let's just... Uh, check. Oh, I don't know how I'll check. Uh, do I have my fixtures... Uh, Hold on, guys. Let me get my fixtures thingy up. Oh, wait, no, I, don't. I can't. I can't. I don't have it. I don't have it. Can we just, uh, can we go here? Game week 34. It's Arsenal against Wolves, right? So if Wolves are knocked out, could Arsenal potentially have a double in 34? Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they could have a double game from 34. Because Wolves won't be in the FA Cup. So they'll be free to play in game week 34. Arsenal aren't in the FA Cup. They'll be free to play in additional fixtures in, in 34. So you could see Wolves and Arsenal both doubling in 34. Which is really interesting. Really interesting. So Beal says you really wanted to captain Watkins. I did. I did. But fate got in the way. Yeah, if Coventry beat Wolves, things get interesting. Things get chaotic, arguably. So if you still got a, a free hit or a wild card and you fancy using it for game week 34, then you know, it could be on the cards. But, I mean, ultimately we'll see. I think it could be fun though. If you've already got like double or triple Arsenal, then it's going to be nice if Arsenal get double game week in 34. And it'd be nice for those wild carding in 35 as well because you can start to remove some Arsenal players. Hmm. We need Wolves to lose. I don't, yeah, I, I think it could be fun. Dan, can you plan your game at 34 team if Coventry wins? It depends. It depends. I can't really plan anything until I've got all of the FA Cup results, really. Um, unless we're just kind of assuming the rest of the results are kind of... We already know what's going to happen. You know, Liverpool Man City win. Man United and Newcastle lose. Chelsea, is it Chelsea? Yeah, Chelsea win. And Coventry win. I think it means Wolves and Arsenal have a good chance of a double game week in 34. If that happens. Ali says, what percentage do you guess are using free hit? Like 30% probably. Quite a lot. Went for Kudus over Elanga. Nice, nice. I think both work. Both work. I have both. I have both. Uh, I'm I'm so, so curious, by the way, about whether a, a Langer starts. I'm pretty sure he will. But that's always like, when you go for like someone who has been benched recently, you always have that in the back of your mind. Oh, have I just made a horror, horror decision? If he starts, I'm going to be cheering. Uh, if Tony Wissa and Mbermo play at once, it's going to be a birthday. <laughs> it is, it is. But Mbermo is on the bench today. So United win, right? 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 I'm, I'm afraid Fardina would not be too confident in United. I mean, actually, to be fair, Liverpool have their injury issues at the moment. You never know. But actually, despite their injury issues, I thought they played very well against Man City. So it's going to be a tough game. Like, obviously, they absolutely dominated um, Sparta as well. Absolutely destroyed them. Uh, pick Wood over Morris thoughts. I'm praying for you. I really am praying for you because if we get the news that our knees starts, I think a lot of people are going to be very disappointed. Very disappointed. Uh, please, Wolves win. It will be easy to stay template and dead end to game week 34. I think genuinely, if, if Wolves lose today i think it only by a tiny bit but i think it slightly more plays into the hands of those um not free hitting in 34 because it'll be easier to get double game week players you know it would be easy to get to triple arsenal and they're players you would want anyway from kind of game week 31 onwards 
Whereas I think if you're wild carding in game week 31, you arguably are going to have a lot of the. You're going to have tri double or triple Arsenal anyway in that wild card. So you won't really get to see the full benefits of the free hit in that way. I don't know. These are just all only initial thoughts because honestly, I hadn't really considered that Wolves might lose to Coventry, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it certainly opens up some new doors. And I think it. It's only a minor, tiny little um, point in the favour of, of uh, non-free hitters in 34. Only a tiny point in the favour, but, you know, you, like I say, you take every edge you can get at this point, don't you? It's going to make, it's certainly going to make 34 easier to navigate if, without a free hit. And arguably it was already going to be reasonably easy because the teams that we're looking, well, the best teams that will double him 34 realistically were just going to be Newcastle and Manchester United, who are decent teams, but... Yeah, no, no. You, you don't really want to throw everything but the bathroom sink at them. Dan Cross says, think we're not so bad now. Salah and Sobers are back. Yeah, huge, huge boosts to the team. Sobers is like, obviously, been a huge player for you. Coventry dominating, are they? I'm not watching the game. You have to keep me updated. Coventry very close to making it 2-0. Wow. Um, it class says, what did you think of the Champions League draw for Arsenal? I don't know. It's, it's tough, isn't it? It's tough. Like Bayern with Harry Kane in it, in, in the team. It's not what you wanted, really. But... In general, I think Bayern are not at the, their best they've been in recent years. I don't think they're at their top level that they've ever been. Arsenal are arguably at the top they've ever been. So it's a good time to, for Arsenal to play against Bayern. But it's a tough game. I think ultimately we're, in, we're talking about the final eight teams. We're talking about the, the final eight best teams in the world. I know, you know, you can argue as much as you like about who are the actual eight best teams in the world, and I'm sure Liverpool fans will have something to say about it. But we're talking about the final eight in the most premium club competition in the world, in, of, in the world of football. Every game from this stage is going to be hard. There's no such thing as an easy game anymore. You could argue that, okay, Dortmund or Atleti might be nicer fixtures. But that's still lead, that's only two two teams of the, the eight remaining. So I don't know. Barca or PSG. Um I don't know. I don't know. It's again, it's a good time to play Barca. It's a good time to play Barca. So I don't know. I don't know that game. I just feel like Barca just have the, the Barca factor, right? PSG to win the Champions League. Oh, well, I'd be kind of surprised. Christian says Arsenal will help Kane to win another trophy. <laughs> uh, I mean, it would be nice to for Arsenal to knock Kane out of another trophy, for sure. Uh, Eriku says, just an appreciation post. Thanks for all of your tips. It's obvious you put so much time and effort into your content, and it's much appreciated. Well, thank you so much, Eriku. And, um... Yeah, I'm glad. I'm uh, yeah, I'm glad. You know, at least some people um, do enjoy the content, enjoy the videos. You know, it's not going to be for everyone, but um, yeah. As long as some of you guys are happy, I'm happy. City versus Madrid. Hmm. That's that's the that's the game really. That's like the game of the round because you fancy these two teams as potential finalists, really. And yet, one of them will not be a finalist. One of them won't even make the semis. It's a huge game. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That, the answer to City versus Madrid, to be fair. I can't call it. I can't call it. I don't want to call it. I don't want to call any of these Champions League games. They're all so tough. It's going to be an amazing round. Linus says, Dan, when are you getting your Zabani Bournemouth shirt to add to the collection? <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think I'll be getting that. I definitely see the appeal though. Um, 
What was I going to say? No, the next shirt I'll get is the Tromso shirt because I'm going there tomorrow. Tomorrow, off to Tromso. Going to go see the stadium. Going to see the Northern Lights, hopefully. See some of the fjords. See some snow. Apparently, it's minus, something like minus seven degrees Celsius out there at the moment. <laughs> it's going to be so cold when we arrive tomorrow. But yeah, a little international break holiday, I guess. It's the only time to do it, really. Uh, are you confident about Arsenal going through? No, definitely not. Definitely not confident at all. Uh, hi, Dan. Birthday boy Tony going to get a hat-trick today? A hat-trick would be insane. George says, I've improved since started following you. Best uh, decision ever. Much love from Zanzibar. What a cool country to be from. Um, awesome, man. Like, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that you, you found that you've been able to improve your game. Congratulations on doing so. Iklas says, who do you want to face in semis if you had the choice? One of Atleti or, or Dortmund, <laughs> I guess. Jamie says, I used my free hit in 25, so game at 29, I only have eight players. That's not so bad. It could be worse. See, it will beat Real over two legs. Hmm. Diglo says, oh, Norway is cool. It is, it is. And I look forward to visiting for the first time. Because I, I love it as a country. Um, Sophie says, have you seen the new England away kit? It's excellent. I think I have. Is this the dark blue one? Should we have a look? Because I think I saw it yesterday or the day before and loved it. Uh, or, or, or is it this one? Oh, no, no, it's this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's, oh okay. Pur more purple, isn't it? I think I bag this. I think I'm going to get this. I think that goes straight in the collection. Because it's like purple as well. It's like kind of the theme of the YouTube channel as well. We use a lot of purple colours in the videos and stuff. In the graphics. So I think it's just like perfect. I don't really have, Do I have a purple shirt? I have one purple football shirt at the moment. And it's that Bristol City. Um, goalkeeper. Is it goalkeeper away shirt? A goalkeeper shirt from like last year I believe. Which I just thought. Cool bus. Bus chair design. So that's the only purple we have at the moment. So it'd be nice to add another to the rainbow, the rainbow of kits that we uh, that we collect. Mr. H says, you can come visit me. I live next to Tromso. Oh, cool. Well, if you see me out and about, I'll buy you a beer. And that's a, that's a there's a rule that I haven't mentioned this in a while, but the, but the rule is if you find me in public in a, in, in a drinking establishment, I uh, have to buy you a beer. That's the rule. And I will I will do so. Of course, now that you said you are from near Tromsø, I feel bad saying it that way. Because if you're from Norway, you don't say Tromsø. You say Tromsø. Tromsø. Which is so... It just feels wrong to say Tromsø. But... It's like the, the, the O at the end. It's like the same O as in... Odegaard, which isn't Odegaard, it's Erdegaard. So that O with the line for it. What's it called? Mr. H or anyone else from Norway or any country that uses that special kind of O. What is it called when the O has a line through it? The er. Uh, the er uh sound. Matthew Young says, what rank are you aiming for at the end of the season? Hey, top 50k would be amazing. I'm not expecting it. Top 100k, I, I, I wouldn't be... Too depressed about. I won't be too depressed about. Um, Gunswood says, Dan, I found you too late, probably in December. I needed you in August when the season started. Don't worry, I'll be here from you from next season, my friend. I'll be here from you. Jordan says, this, does this public rule apply to everyone? Is this Jordan as in my brother, Jordan? <laughs> if it is... If it is, then... No, it doesn't apply to everyone. The rules are, one, you can't be a friend or family member from my, my real life. And two, you have to be 18 or older. So, yes, the public beer rule does not... Okay, 18 or older if it's in England. I don't know what, what the drinking ages are in every country in the world, but I imagine many countries are 21 as well. 
Many might be 16. I don't know. Uh, easy. There aren't that many pubs to choose from. Is there not? I, just, I, I guess Norway probably doesn't have the same drinking culture as uh, the United Kingdom. Um, yeah. You're actually saying it right. The uh, tr tr Tromsø. No, Tromsø. Tromsø. Ah. <sighs> But what is it called? What is that? The O with the line. What is it called? What is that called? Uh, but thank you guys for saying that I said it correctly. Good stuff. Good stuff. We do try. We do try and get the pronunciations correct where possible. Dan, why don't you reach on... Oh, react on stream. Like do a live stream. I think... I think when I get my internet sorted... And when I move office as well and hopefully get a more a setup more designed because I'm basically going to reinvest quite uh, like what we've made for um, what we've made from YouTube this year into like yeah we're just improving the channel where we can um, I think part of that is going to be you know having a real nice specifically designed setup in a like in a different room in a slightly bigger room as well with a better layout in this house and um should make recording streaming these kind of things better uh noise is so expensive dan don't you prefer hot countries i've done the hot countries i've done i've never been on like a cold cold weather holiday before i've only ever been to hot countries so it's just trying to do something a bit different and like not, seeing the Northern Lights is just a lifelong bucket list thing I've always wanted to do, always wanted to see. So I'm 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 excited at the the, the hope that maybe maybe we could uh, I, we could see the Northern Lights, which would be amazing. Okay, so it's it's called a minuscule, a minuscule. Is that how you say it in Norwegian, or, or is that the English word for it? Because minuscule sounds like a very... It doesn't sound like a Norwegian word. In Swedish, it's... Oh, it's like the Urzil. And pronounced uh, 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 uh. It's, it's called... Oh right, oh, right. I see what you're saying. It's called, it's called an uh. So is it called an uh? <laughs> right, okay, right, right, right. Okay, right. Hear me out. So... If you are, I don't know why we still got the kids on screen. If you are, like, I don't know, you say you're just, a, just you're, you are a Norwegian person. You're speaking in your native Norwegian language, right? And I don't know, you, like, someone like tells you a, like a really, really disgusting story over text message. They tell you, oh, yeah, I can't believe, like, oh, last night I I, I had uh, a really, really dodgy curry. They were saying this in Norwegian, by the way. Over text message, your friend's texting you saying, I had this really, really dodgy curry last night. Oh, you would not believe the mess I made in the toilet. Would you reply with an uh? <laughs> As in to say, uh, uh, I don't want to hear about that. Uh, uh. <laughs> would, would you type that in? Because, like... In English, if you want to say uh over text, it'd be like, I don't know, E U G H, maybe something like that. Or, or I don't know, even know how you spell uh, but you have a letter, so you could just write the uh to say uh. Or, like, if you're kind of, you can't decide, you know, you can't decide something or not, you know, oh, should I, should I pick? Uh, let's think of two Norwegian players. Should I pick Erdegaard or Holland in my FPL team? Uh, which one should I go for? Uh, do you use it like that as well? It seems to be a, 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 a letter. That it, seems, it could be multi-purpose. It's useful. It's useful. Jonas says, no, it does not mean you. I know it doesn't mean you, but can it be substitute, substituted? <laughs> Brandon, yeah. Brother, uh. 
<laughs> Brother. Ah. <laughs> oh. That, right, okay, when you when you type that meme out, when you type that meme out, meme out, you could use that letter. Elias says, "How? Why don't we use it like that?" You should, brother. Ugh. You've got the letter right there in your alphabet for it. Use it. Jonah says it's just a letter, dude. Yeah, exactly. It's a wonderful letter. So use it. <sighs> Rahul says the earth thing may be used in English. They probably don't have something in Norwegian. Everyone says, uh. Every you're telling me, no matter what country you're from, you see something disgusting, you say, uh. You say, uh, to God. Katja says, I'm going to use it like that from now on. Good. As you should. As you should. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I've convert. I, I'm I'm teaching the Norwegians how to use their own language. You know what? I'm coming over. Well, when I come over to Norway tomorrow, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and educate. I'm gonna try and educate the Norwegians on on the new way that they can use their amazing letter, their amazing u. Such such so so many multi purposes to this great this great great letter. Also, people in South Norway say, uh, to say you. That's a dialect specific thing. You. Uh. Uh, Gats would ask me if I do gambling or lotteries. No, sir. No, I do not. Uh, yeah, well, you won't see any gambling or anything like that on this YouTube channel. You slash yikes. You. I always feel like you. It feels like a bit feminine. Fem, fe, feminine? Fe, feminine. It feels a bit feminine to say you. Don't know why. Uh feels a bit more. I don't know. More masculine way of saying it. I'm not sure. Great icebreaker for your trip. There'll be a lot of ice. Uh, the ice breaking will just be all of the ice breaking. When I tread on all of the snow and the ice that is everywhere, I don't think that is a good uh, icebreaker. To be honest, if I go and if I <laughs> if I go to Norway and start saying, "Hey, you know your letter, uh, yeah," why don't you use it when you're disgusted by someone? Why don't you say, "Uh," they'll just think I'm weird. It's a terrible icebreaker. <laughs> it's a terrible icebreaker. Ike Nori scores one one. Okay, interesting. Games opened back up. Up, out, op, open. Philip Ron says, enjoy your trip to Norway. Fingers crossed for some Aurora. Oh, fingers crossed for some Aurora Borealis indeed. Well, you saying you doesn't feel weird at all. It suits you. Thanks for that. Ugh, wolves <laughs> equalised. Ugh. Ugh. Get up in the game with 34 wildcarders. Yeah. Well done. No, you're not one yet. You're not one yet, wolves. Cabalash says, Dan invented... On fonts of letters, Dan is cooking something. Might be on to a Nobel Prize. I think I deserve a Nobel Prize. Bug Riftal says you is a, an Americanism. Potentially, yeah. It feels a bit more... It feels a bit more uh, American, doesn't it? We, we use... Oh, I don't even know. We use some this weird letter when we're sick of something. I say weird letter. A-E... What's that? What what noise does an A E make? Can you spell it out for like using the English alphabet of what the A E that? I mean, I'm calling it an A E looking thing because it looks like an A E. It does. Is it even that? It kind of looks like it. Maybe even looks like two lowercase E's, but one is upside down and a conjoined twin. Why are you going to Norway? Just for fun? <laughs> Just for a holiday? McLaughlin says 28 minutes after deadline and I'm sensing regret. What's where's the regret, my friend? What are you regretting? Slinky says I'm from Yorkshire. I have some northern lights in my bathroom. <sighs> not north not northern en enough. Your wife was right about Ike Nori. Yeah, she was to be fair. Still think you should check out 
this dog sled ride when in Trom uh, Tromso. Tromso. Um, I don't know. I don't really like. Can I can I say this publicly? I don't. This is one of like the most innocent things that for some reason people just. I don't like dogs that much. I'm not that. I'm just not a dog person. Um, they're fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Uh, you know, they're just living their lives. Happy little guys most of the time. Uh, I just, I'm just not, I don't hate dogs. I just, both me and my partner, I just, we're just not that bothered by dogs. It's just not something that interests us that much. Can I say that without people saying, how can you not like dogs? Dogs are the best things in the world. I, I appreciate different people like different things. I've just never really been a dog person. Never owned a dog growing up. Never really had any dogs in my life other than one dog uh, that my mum's ex-boyfriend had who bit my brother in the head. That's the only dog I can remember from my childhood. One that bit uh, my brother in the, uh, right on the top of his head. Yeah. <sighs> That's my only memory of a dog. So maybe it's that. Maybe it's that traumatic memory of seeing a dog attack my brother. The only dog I knew attacked my brother when I was a kid. So maybe that's why I'm not that bothered about dogs. But I'm not. Uh, I mean, no, there's nothing wrong with them. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with them. For other people. But I'm like, I'm like a more, I'm like a quiet, chilled person. Really. And I think dogs are a little bit too energetic, loud for me. Ah, Adam says, don't, Dan, don't forget to take the picture next to the uh, International Spa. Oh, yeah, man. Don't worry. <laughs> Harley says, Dan, looking at dogs like, ugh. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. 2 1 Wolves. 2 1 Wolves. Hello. Well, okay. It looks like we. Um, the dream of an Arsenal double game week is over. Rules are going through. Someone said I'm unsubscribing because you don't like dogs. Oh, come on. Why? Not everyone likes the same things. Mr. H says, book a session at Past in Trimza. That will be a cool and different experience for you. You sit in a sauna and you can jump in. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, we, we might do that. Yeah, we might do that. Not sure. You and Mrs. like cats? Yeah, we like cats. We have a cat. We do like cats. Because they're, they're, they're quiet. And they're peaceful animals. And I think um, I think that just sort, sort of suits our personalities and our lifestyle a little bit more. Having like a nice, quiet, peaceful animal that doesn't require a lot of... Um, I mean, honestly, man, I don't have time to like walk dogs and stuff like that. I haven't got time. I probably could make time, to be honest, but it would just be an extra, like, job added to the list of things. It just gets stressful, you know? Right. Let's get some teams. Let's get some teams because the uh, lineups are out and then I need to disappear because I need to get a haircut. I need to get a few more final holiday bits as well. Okay. Let's go through team by team. So let's start with, with Forest and their very annoying graphic on the second page. Alanga starts. Alanga starts. Thank the heavens. Our knee is not in the squad. Am I reading this right? So Hudson O'Doy benched. Our knee not in the squad. Gibbs White playing deep again, because I'm guessing Origi is playing on the wing. Wait, does that mean Alanga's going left wing, Origi's going right? Or do you think Origi left wing? Forest fans? What do we reckon? Alanga, though. Oh, I don't know. I'm hoping for something big. Cats are also self-cleaning. Yes. They are. They're like... They're, they're underrated animal. Underrated animal. By the way, everyone commenting about my moustache. I've ignored all comments so far, but I think I'm going to shave it off. 
<laughs> I think, I think, I think people, uh, I think people uh, do not appreciate it. Maybe we'll, we'll quick, we'll maybe do a quick poll. Edward says, every time I tune in, I swear you're having a haircut after. Yeah, I have semi-regular haircuts, I guess. I usually have a haircut on a Saturday because it's the only kind of afternoon I actually am not working pretty much. And my barber's shows the football on, on uh, in the, in the, in the barber's, so it's pretty cool. Right, let's uh, do a quick poll. Um, should I shave off the moustache? No, yeah, options are yes or no. Get voting. And I'm going to go through these teams. Right, so Luton Town, Doughty starts after everything. Doughty starts. Uh, do, 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 do. Looks like a pretty standard team. Nothing too scary or interesting there. For Brentford, uh, we've got Flecken, Roslev. Five at the back, okay. So we're, so we're going to see Roslev and Region high up the pitch. I think that definitely plays into the hands of Roslev and Region. If you own either of those, I think you'll be in. I think you'll be in good luck. Uh, Whistler and Tony, of course, up front, and as expected, and Burmo is on the bench. Cool. Cool. Uh, for Burnley, Taylor starts. He was the main one, isn't he? Uh, for Farno starts as well. He's another player that a lot of people are hoping for. Interestingly, Trafford. Hmm. Trafford not starting. Murick is. Murich has come back into the starting eleven. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Right. All of these Super Mario, uh, Italian, Sheriff. All of these comments need to stop. They need to stop. Or I'm shaving it off. It's going. I think it's a vibe, personally. But maybe it could be a bit shorter. All right, well, maybe we'll just... Maybe we'll see. Wasn't Mrs. FPL mate going to go for him? Who was she going to go for, sorry? Wait, did she go for... She went for Ogbene. Which is kind of interesting, actually. I wonder if that'll pay off for her. Ogbene. Oh, no, she benched him for a Wobi, didn't she? Yeah. Right, well, this is huge for me. So we've got Alanga, Region, and Tony, Doughty, and Flecken. So what's one, two, three, four, five players playing now? Is that five? Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, Miss FPM was going to go for Murick. No, nah, she wasn't. Uh, get yourself a goatee. No, I think I'm over the goatee. Right, poll's over. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna trim it down. I think. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have some food, and I'm gonna go for a haircut, and then we're gonna go shopping. Fun time, guys. Um, appreciate you guys joining me for another stream. Always fun chatting, catching up, and talking all about FPL. Those of you who want a wild card or not. Good luck this game week. I hope uh, all of your FPL blank game week dreams come true. Other than Ma if you're a Madison owner. I hope Madison blanks. Uh, I hope Madison blanks. Sorry, I just do. And when he does blank, I want I want to, I want to see apologies. Uh, in in in, uh, in an alternative world, if Madison hauls, I will maybe be the one apologising. So, uh, guys, uh, thank you so much. I will see you, um, well, I, will, I won't see you for any videos until, well, I come back on Thursday. So I'm pro we're probably looking at Friday for the, for the next upload. So yeah, I will see you guys. I'll, I'll be posting on Twitter as usual, on Instagram as well. I'll make sure I post lots of photos of the um, the Norway holiday, see if we can get those those Northern Lights. Uh, so feel free, feel free to follow me on Instagram as well if you like. It's at FPLMate and we'll be posting over there. Uh, of all that me and Mrs. FPL mate get up to over the week. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. So yeah, guys, see you on social media uh, and see you on YouTube in, well, 
almost a week's time. Week off YouTube. Let's go. Uh, yeah, take care, guys, and bye-bye.